So this problem says to solve by completing the square. Um, the problem is x squared minus 12x plus 27 is equal to 0. There's a few different methods of how to complete the square, but the method that I like um, starts by moving any constant term away from the terms with x. So let's subtract 27 on both sides to get the equation x squared minus 12x is equal to negative 27. The next step, since our coefficient of x squared is just a 1, or is invisible, we can then move to taking the coefficient of the x term, which is our negative 12. We're going to take our negative 12, then we divide the negative 12 by 2, and square all of that. So the first step is to do negative 12 divided by 2. That gives us negative 6. And then after we square it, we get 36. So that means we need to add 36 to both sides. So we take x squared minus 12x, we add a 36 here, and then to balance we have to add a 36 to the other side of the equation as well. Next we can do a step of simplifying. Negative 27 and 36 would go to 9. And then to simplify the left hand side one trick, we want to factor this. So we could look for two numbers that multiply to get 36 and add to get to negative 12, but one trick is that number is always going to be the number after you divide by 2 but before you square. So you take this negative 6 and we can factor this into x minus 6 times x minus 6. So both factors would be x minus 6, that's why we call it a square, completing the square because now we've made it into x minus 6 squared is equal to 9. So from this step, once we've gotten the square by itself, we can take the square root of both sides to get rid of this square, and that gives us x minus 6 is equal to, remember that when you have an x on one side and you're square rooting both sides, you need for that answer to be plus or minus, so the square root of 9 is 3, so it would be plus or minus 3. And then to finish, we can add 6 on both sides to finish solving for x, which makes x is equal to 6 plus or minus 3. And we can separate that into two problems or two solutions. 6 plus 3 would be one solution, and then 6 minus 3 would be the other one, which gives us 9 and 3. So our two solutions would be 9 and 3. So I hope this video solution was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and share uh, with anybody who you think might find these types of problems helpful. Thanks for watching.